On a recent trip to Zanzibar, Sue and I stayed at the Rio Palace. And while we were there, we had access to the Rio Jumbo, which is a family resort. We decided to do a kind of self-guided tour and give you all some highlights of the resort, the amenities, the rooms, and our overall impression. The Rio Palace and the Rio Jumbo are adjacent to one another, and they are both all-inclusive resorts. The Rio Palace is an adults only, where the Rio Jumbo is a family resort. If you're interested, we will also be posting a video about our four day stay at the Rio Palace. In the reception area, you'll find an electronic information board, which gives information on all the activities at the resort during your stay. There are 368 rooms in the seven story building adjacent to the reception area and lobby and 93 units in a two story building just south of the main facility. The building includes five elevators. Since this facility just opened in 2022 and we were visiting late in 2023, everything looked quite new and well maintained. The resort is located an hour to an hour and a half from the airport depending on traffic. Just south of the main towers are the two-story buildings with the 93 units in the annex. In reviewing the Rio website, we saw that there was a large variety of room types, including handicapped rooms and family rooms. The family rooms include a king-size bed, two twin beds, a spacious lounging area, and a sofa bed. There are four swimming pools at this resort, including one with a swim-up bar, and there's also a children's pool. There are four restaurants and five bars, and while we didn't get a chance to visit them all, we did get a chance to check out the buffet. One of the things we noticed at this facility versus the Rio Palace was that there was an air-conditioned area at the buffet restaurant, which doesn't exist at the Rio Palace. There is a snack bar near the beach, which has hot dogs and hamburgers and French fries and a few other items. And we did get some ice cream there. This being a family resort and much newer than the Rio Palace, we did notice that the entertainment venue was quite a bit larger than what we saw at the palace. As you walk down towards the beach from the tower buildings, you'll find the tour desk and the fitness center. The spa includes a steam bath, a relaxation pool and a gym at no extra charge, and treatment rooms and massages at an extra charge. Rio Land Kids is an indoor and outdoor facility with programs for children 4 to 7 and 8 to 12 years old. Heading towards the beach, you'll find a beautiful boardwalk, which leads to the Bahari Bar and also has ramps or stairs that go down to the beach. This is a public beach and you're free to walk in either direction as far as you like. The water is warm and the beach is beautiful and very walkable. One caveat though, which I'd warn you about, is there are quite a few vendors on the beach and they're pretty persistent. Many of them are dressed like Maasai 
And if you engage with them at all or say hello or answer any of their questions like, how are you today? Uh, they will be persistent and follow you. So I would suggest just uh, walking, trying not to make eye contact and maybe saying politely, no thank you and just keep moving. There's a very nice dive shop at the resort, which is shared with the Rio Palace. They have quite an extensive inventory of scuba gear. They offer diving excursions for all levels of scuba divers, including discovery dives and certification programs. Zanzibar is a wonderful location to go scuba diving. Unfortunately, because of a cold that I had, we weren't able to scuba drive on this trip. Use of the kayaks, the stand-up paddle boards, and the paddle boats is free, and we did take advantage of some of those activities. How are we doing today? Good. We're out here in the paddle boat because the guy at the water sports <laughs> didn't think we would be good enough to do the paddle boards. So might be right. <laughs> Are you enjoying the pedal boats? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Easy. You can rent a jet ski for $35 for 15 minutes or $55 for a half an hour. And we decided to rent a jet ski for a half an hour, which was plenty of time. We were very impressed with the staff's attention to detail and making sure we knew how to operate the jet ski and follow all the safety guidelines, including limits on how far we could go. For safety reasons, they basically want you to stay within a line of sight in case anything goes wrong. So a half an hour is plenty of time to go back and forth up and down the beach and just experience using the jet ski. Sue and I are in Zanzibar at the Rio Palace and we're heading out for a snorkeling trip today. Hope to see lots of amazing fish. As with the jet ski rental, we were given an extensive briefing before going on our snorkel trip. We were again very impressed with the staff's attention to detail and safety. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, we'd appreciate your support by subscribing to our channel. This is a great family resort on a beautiful beach and we would highly recommend this location for any family that's looking to do a beach vacation in Zanzibar.